Donald J. Trump, uh, for him to be inaugurated, of course, in January 2025, uh, for him to begin signing executive orders. Joe Biden signed 63 executive orders, I think, in the first five minutes of his presidency, including the Keystone Pipeline, including open the borders and the prerequisite to Afghanistan. OK, so I'm encouraging uh, 45, 47, if you can pass this message along. Uh, that he just get the executive order signature uh, ready to go, which I'm sure he's got the fountain pen ready, like my fountain pen when I used to uh, be a youngster writing my fountain pen. Uh, but can you tell our listeners what this guy will be as a new president starting out? Uh, why are you voting for him? What people can expect? Will he shut the border? Will he clean this mess up? Everyone's asking me, can we even fix this mess? Uh, t- take take as long as you want here, Captain. We're so r- yeah. respectful of your time. I know I've been blabbing yeah. here, but can you, and tell us what it's going to be like and tell anyone who's considering voting for a Democrat candidate. I'll turn the mic over to you, James. Go ahead. Sure. Yeah. And and, and after this, I've got to pop smoke on this one. Uh, but um, yeah, like I said, I got to work. It's Joe Biden's world right now. And we've got to work. I've got to work two jobs now in order to to keep our family uh, afloat. And I'm retired, too, so from the Army. So there you go. That's the kind of condition that our country's in uh, right now. Uh, let me tell you something. Uh, when he is elected, you know, he was a nice, he was, he was very nice. He played very nice, you know, with the other side. Tried to work out, you know, tried to work with them, communicate with them. But I think that he learned uh, a lesson that there are, a, there is a group of progressives that are out there, hardcore leftist, leftist. Um, that they're going to get an awakening. You know, they're going to get a great awakening. And the first thing I'm going to enjoy seeing is all of these, you know, these pet picked uh, cabinet people get booted out. You know, Pete Buttigieg, an absolute failure as transportation. And that's a fellow veteran, by the way. You know, ran for president, was a mayor, ran for president, you know, made all of his claims to fame based on the fact that He's married to another man and they adopted a child and they took all these pictures of them laying in a bed, you know, together like, you know, his husband gave birth to that child. Let's not be ridiculous here, folks. That's the kind of ridiculousness that they're trying to teach our kids in school. So I can see an education system uh, uh, change that, my God, it needs to happen. And our churches, churches. Preachers, teachers, all of you that are out there, you profess to love God, Jesus Christ. You know, you profess to be a Christian. You better start getting engaged, man. Start teaching people because we're losing it. We're losing it. We're losing it. I'm telling you, if you get a Joe Biden second term, um, we'll have a war in the street. And it won't be Americans against Americans, okay? So this is not like, oh, it's going to be like a January 6th thing. January 6th things, go look at all the Palestinian supporters of the leftist that just climbed the dang fence at the White House and have, have burned cities, BLM and some of these other groups that are out there. That's who you'll be fighting against, literal terrorists that want to destroy your U.S. Constitution and they've got a president and a cabinet that is empowering them and allowing them to do that. And as a matter of fact, encourages them. So I'm going to tell you right now, if you're not even thinking about voting, you better get out and vote. And you better vote for people that have the same values that you have. Do some research. Don't just say, well, I'm a Democrat. I got to vote. No, Democrats. There are some good Democrats out there. Get out and stop voting for the clowns. How in the world, how in in the world did Ilhan Omar and that uh, Tlaib get elected? Two known open supporters of Palestinian terrorism. Hamas. They love Hamas. You know, no doubt about that. No doubt about that at all. And how did we have Republicans that voted to not at least censure them or really they need to be booted out? But we have some we have some people that are on the right as well that really are not standing up for our country like they need to. And you you got a, a way right now to change it without bloodshed, and it's called an election. Go and vote. Vote them out. You know, and I know people say, wow, you know, the elections were stolen and all these things. Well, they won't be stolen if every one of you are out there voting and watching. 
And I'm not talking about voter intimidation, folks. I'm talking about just keeping an eye on things. Double check your vote to make sure that everybody that you want to be elected, because your vote matters, one vote can make all the difference in the world. And, uh, you know, I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward to a new president. I'm looking forward to a new governor here in West Virginia, Mac Warner, retired U.S. Army lieutenant colonel. I'm looking forward to a, a senator, Mark Lamb. I'm looking forward to actual people of integrity being elected into office. And, and I mean, look, clowns are funny, okay? And I call some of these people clowns that are in office. But clowns are funny. These are like killer clowns, folks, that we've got in there. They're not funny clowns. They're big, scary, nasty freaking clowns that are destroying your country, your country. Let's not let that happen. Remember, folks, to vote, say your prayers, and God bless America. If we hit our knees and ask for forgiveness and pray for this country to be saved, then the Lord will hear us. We turn from our wicked ways, and he'll heal the land, folks. That's exactly what I'm talking about here today. So thank you very much, Greg. And i got to go to work, folks. God bless. God bless you, uh, James. By the way, if you don't mind, we're going to talk behind your back after you leave the kitchen. Okay, the, okay. Uh, that sounds good. Have a great talk day. away. <laughs> God love. God love you. Have a great day. Wow, that was a lot to take in, Greg. That was a lot of presidents. James went through the list. I was keeping track. Uh, you know what, Val? Um. Boy, welcome to Secrets from the Inside with Greg Meekin, right? Um, seriously, seriously, let's let's take a, a quick little moment here. I'm I'm decompressing after so much information that is stunning, stunning information. I can't even tell you how much I have to respond or reply to uh, for that information, uh, and even who Captain McCormick is, just as a man. I mean, you, Val, we we're sitting here chatting and. Uh, again, we're back at the kitchen table. Cap McCormick's gone out the back door. Uh, I'm going to talk behind his back and say, uh, this is one of the most astonishing human beings I've ever met in my life. Never mind a man, never mind a war hero. Um, and uh, so I'm going to I'm going to kind of decompress from that a little bit. I 